Okay. I've arrived at my destination. This is uh, one of my favorite pieces on the Art on the Beltline exhibit. And I came across it before the, the sign was up and before I knew anything about it. And I thought, boy, what an odd object. I took put, put some pictures on Facebook a few weeks ago. But this, this piece has an, quite an amazing story. And it's a, it's a story of local human interest. And um, I'll read what's on here. You can read it along with me. It's called the Louise Taylor Listening Device by Terry Hardy. The Louise Taylor Listening Device is built around a primitive listening device and an accompanying blog that investigates the tale of love and loss. This multifaceted installation negotiates the relationship between reality and historic fiction. Unearthed in 2011 during the Atlanta Beltline construction, this urban relic is the core of a narrative centered on Louise Taylor. Now, I am not going to spoil the story, but I'm going to post the link to this blog that Terry Hardy has created and is managing, and I'll let you read the story because it's uh, it's it's quite poignant, actually, and moving, if I may say. But uh, I'll just kind of let you give you the synopsis. Two people fell in love here in Atlanta, near Ponce de Leon Avenue, lived in this area. One died, the other one was heartbroken, and Louise Taylor was the one that was heartbroken. And she created this listening device because she was convinced that by pointing this up toward heaven, that she could sit in this chair and listen and possibly hear her departed friend. Maybe if we listen hard enough, we can hear him. Pan around here. This is quite an interesting piece. Now, this this listening device. I know this light's not very good, but it's about whew, looks like 16 to 20 feet long. It's a pretty big piece, and it's mounted on these it's like four by fours. And notice the chair. And that's where she sat to listen. Now again, this this has been moved. But I think the interesting part about this, one of the one of the many interesting parts about this story, is that this was found. Yeah, I can't pan up in the sky; you can't really see it. But um, the fact that it was found when they were building the the East Side Trail, Atlanta Beltline, so it's got a lot of significance on many levels. We're uh, across the street from the Piedmont Park Promenade, and. Just to give those of you that know this area a little context. Right over here to the right is uh, the Ansley Vet Clinic on Monroe Street on Dutch Valley Road. And that building over there would be one Midtown Kitchen.